Alright, so this third goddess cube you have to get by skydiving and like aiming and landing on the right platform. I missed it right there, but you probably won't get it on your first time either. Um, but don't worry, you can get back up there pretty easily to try again. But before I go back up there, I'm going to get the digging mitts. So, this guy wants you to clear the enemies out of this next room. And there's a few of them that have that horn where they can like call in reinforcements. So focus on those guys first. They've got the hat, they're the ones with the hats on. There's also one up on this path calling in reinforcements so take care of him and then take out the rest of them and occasionally you'll get one of these skulls um, from this type of enemy the bats sometimes you can get the monster claw pieces of goo sometimes have like that jelly stuff so when you see those be sure to grab them all right so with them all dead go back and talk to that guy also you might have noticed that there is a chest up here I'll point it out Right up there. I'll be getting that uh, in a few minutes, so don't worry. <laughs> so, this guy just hooked it up with some digging mitts. I really like this item because... They don't make you, like, switch to it to use it. All you have to do is go up to a dig spot and press A, and you'll automatically pull out the digging claws and, uh, dig. An important note about digging in those digging spots, you can keep digging for, like, three or four or five uh, swipes, depending on the hole. So, backtrack to where you were, and go up here and this will give you a, another chance to do your little skydiving. So you can't land on each landing in just one shot. So I'm gonna hit this uh, one with the treasure chest first. It's got some Elden Ore which is one of the materials used for upgrading your items. Now you sh you'll probably find a lot of Elden Ore in this area of the game just by doing all the dig holes. So I try to jump to the dig hole platform from here and you can't make it. You can make it to the uh, goddess cube from here. And yeah, no way. So. Now I'm going to hit the goddess cube. And in this goddess cube, it will open up a treasure chest in the sky that contains a gold rupee, which is worth 300 rupees, which is pretty sweet. And I'm going to land on this last ledge that has the dig spots, just so you can see what's in there, in case you're curious. Um, just a few rupees. It's probably not worth your time and effort to try to land on it if you didn't hit it uh, on your first couple times around. So after that, head down and continue on past that magma that gave you the digging gloves and open up that air vent to get this new area. 
So just keep digging until you can't dig anymore. And you want to go down this left path first. Uh, this is how you get to that treasure chest that I mentioned earlier in the video. Take the air vent up here, and then the ladder. And that should be like a Bobakin. Kill him. And then you'll notice that there's three paths to go down. You want to go down the middle one to get to the treasure chest. So there's the three. Take the middle path. And that gets you to this treasure chest, which I believe just has some Elden Ore inside. Yep. Okay. Now we've pretty much cleared out those two areas, so now you want to go right uh, at this turn. There's going to be a bunch of those flame dudes. So hang to the left. Take the path that I'm taking. Uh, because there is a secret room here that's got a silver rupee, which is a hundred. So don't want to miss that. So this first set of bomb flowers on the left, you want to use to clear out this guy. And then grab another one. And to your left, there's a crack in the wall. Right there, you can see the crack. Just blow that open. And this is a pretty good treasure. Bang bang! Silver rupee. 100. You must feel like a sobriety. And then you're going to have to blow up one more of these guys to, to get through this door. And there's some bomb flowers over here. And a few more dig spots. Gotta get all the dig spots. Okay, once you're outside, there's a few more dig spots you can get now that you've got the digging mitts. There's also some ladybugs on the wall. At least, I don't know if uh, the bugs always show up in the same place. Probably not, would be my guess, but... The ladybugs are super slow and easy to catch. So, whenever you see those guys, just snag them. Some of the other bugs are a lot trickier and faster. So then out here <clears throat> uh, there you're gonna see a bomb flower and that's gonna let you bomb a wall that was previously blocking you. So basically if you blow up the wall right here to the right uh, you're going to open up a little shortcut for yourself. And then after that, head across the bridge, and that would be a good time to save. 
before the next video.